Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being here. I am going to share with you some big money bolos. These bolos were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, go join it. It is a reseller group. It is free. It is super great way to learn about items to be on the lookout for and just reseller content in general. Um, almost 110,000 members in the group. I do have a link down below in my link tree. You can join there. If you go to the top of the group, you can go to the featured announcements section and share your bolo. And I will feature it in a video just like this. Be sure to shout out your YouTube, your social media, your eBay store, if you sell on whatnot. Throw that in the comment when you share your bolo and I will mention it in a video just like this. All right, the first one says, got this at a garage sale that had been going on for an hour, for hours, paid a dollar, sold it for a best offer of $225. So let me just tell you, Childhood Finds is a bolo finder. She is on YouTube. You can find her there. I highly recommend you go and check her out because she has really cool finds and really great video content. Maurice Osmond, a bronze swan trinket dish tray. Right there. Would you have missed that little um, that little carving with the brand? Check it out. It even has some green on it. Wow, wow, wow. $225, a dollar into $225. Check her out, you guys. The next one here is a vintage 1973 flowery tree cruel kit flower. So this is like a cross stitch kit, but it's cruel. Bought a bunch of stitchery items at a yard sale last fall. Listed this back in February. Probably have 25 cents into it, maybe 50. Took a best offer of $55. So long tail sometimes, but definitely a bolo. People are looking for these and people will be looking for specific ones. I have some Longenberger ones listed. And I've had multiple messages of people asking me, do I have another one available? I'm like, no, nope, just the ones that I have in my store. But what that shows you is that people are looking for these items. This one comes from eBay store Dieter's Attic. The next one is a, and I'm reading straight from my phone. So I'm directly reading to you what everybody wrote about these items. Look at this big money bolo. She said, I was actually doing a no source September challenge, but I saw this item at my local online auction house. Okay, listen, um, you shouldn't be looking if you're not buying, right? <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, as resellers, we challenge ourselves to be conscious of what we're buying and making sure we're buying smart, right? But here's the thing. If you go on a strike and you don't buy, you could miss out on something like this, right? She said, I tried passing it by, but then decided to comp it. She said, I'm glad I did. I bid 50 on it and couldn't believe that I won. There were two other items with it, but all together with fees and tax, the price was 61. I put it up for auction and had 200 views, 25 watchers, and 18 bids. It sold for $465 to someone in Australia. This clock lights up and plays the Muppets theme song every hour. It's really cool. Oh my goodness, it may be really cool, but I don't know if I want to listen to the Muppets theme song every hour. Ah, I think I'd go crazy. What about you? She said, it's really cool. The name of my store is AB's Curated Curiosities. I just started on fa a Facebook group. I would love to have some followers. So yeah, guys, she shared her new Facebook group. She also shared her eBay store. So check her out on both places. And what a cool bolo. And I am so glad that you broke your sourcing challenge of September to not buy because you would have lost out on a huge profit. How amazing is that? I mean, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta buy it, right? Big money bolo right there. Bam. All right. The next item are these two vintage six panel white cream slag glass tulip ceiling hangings. So I'm going to say, I would not want to ship that and I would not want to ship this. So am I leaving money on the table by not wanting to ship these things? Absolutely. Bought for seven at a swap meet, thought they were gorgeous, listed for 190, took a best offer of 170 and two weekish. AZ finds 23. All right, there they are. Let's see what the next one is. This is a Hussar, H-U-S-A-R-D. I don't know if I've ever heard of that brand. 
uh, vintage Christmas tree. Look, look at the uh, back of it, guys. It's got lots of wear, lots of wear. Uh, Christmas tree brooch. People collect the Christmas tree brooches. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Some go for more than others. She said, I picked up this brooch with three others for a quarter a piece on Saturday. Listed a little high at 45. I utilize best offer in, on most and seem to be selling for 35. Within a few hours, I got and accepted an offer for 30, bought and sold for a good profit the same day with the damage. Same day, guys. Great measuring tool. She said, I recently found your YouTube channel and watched your Bolo brooches video, after which I decided to pick up any vintage signed rhinestone jewelry. I already know a lot about Victorian and fine jewelry, but very little about costumes. So thank you. Fliptastic underscore finds on eBay and Instagram. Fliptastic finds on Mercari and Poshmark. Yes, 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 yes. They do not all have to be the crazy big money ones. You can make a lot of money just flipping bread and butter bolos with jewelry. So definitely check it out. Um, a lot of times I will start pieces like this for $5 or less over on my whatnot show. I do brooch shows that are all brooches and somebody gets this for five and then they can flip it for 30s. They make a profit. I make a little profit. And on whatnot, my goal is to flip things fast. I have a totally different mindset over on whatnot. If you want to know more about it, I do have tutorials, how to for beginners what not for beginners. I also link them down in the description of the video. If you want to maybe sell on a different platform in an auction style format. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There is a referral link to join. You get $15 to shop with that. And I also have a seller's referral link, but first join with the buyer's link. So you get the 15 to shop, then come back, click on the seller's link, and that could help you get accepted quicker. But they also now offer um, a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A perk if you use my referral link to sell. So check that out when you click on it. It should tell you what that perk is. I can't remember exactly um, what it is. So those links are down below. Oh, I hope you guys will join me at a show. But I also want to stop right here and show you a tool that I use on whatnot. If you're thinking about selling, if you're already a seller, somebody reached out to me the other day. They're like, can you please tell me the ring light that you use? And absolutely. Um, I do show it in my whatnot for beginners video, but I'm going to show it again right now. I do have a referral link down below. It, it's not sponsored. They didn't pay me to talk about my ring light, but I do have the referral link. So I do receive a commission. If you click on my referral link to get that discount down below in the description and you buy a ring light, I do get a small commission. So I do appreciate it when you guys use those referrals and affiliates down below. Those are things I use for my business. So I'm going to cut in here. I'm going to kind of show you um, how I set my shows up. It's just a big pile of jewelry, really. That's all I'm going to show you. But that's for tonight's show, um, which will already be passed by the time you see this. So check it out. And if you're looking for a ring light, if you're a seller, um, this is the one I use. And then we are going to get back to more big money bolos to be on the lookout for. All right, Bolo Buddies, this is my whatnot show tonight. So it is a big, massive tray of jewelry. I'll be digging through it, grab and sell style. So I grab an item and I sell it. Um, everything tonight is going to start at $5 or less. Um, but I've had some people ask me about my light. And you can see right here, it's on an arm. It comes down to this marble base. Uh, just ignore the mess around here. But anyway, it is fabulous because it can go up and down like this. It goes up like this. So you guys see me go from down to the jewelry up to my face. That's all I'm doing is lifting this up. This is fabulous. You can also turn it this way. It has a ring light on it. It holds your phone. You can also uh, purchase a magnetic holder if you don't like this type of grip. Um, but I have a phone case, so I'm not sure if I can use the magnetic with the phone case, but there are other things. There's also um, a light that you can buy that you can hook onto your phone. So this is great if you do whatnot. It's also great if you are on YouTube and you uh, like draw pictures or do arts and crafts and different things like that because you can move this arm up and down in so many ways and it is so sturdy and great. But I chose the marble base. It's fabulous. But I do have a referral link down below in the description. You can use that. You will get a discount if you make a purchase for that item. It is a referral link, so I do receive a small commission. Um, but all of my referrals and different things that I use for my business are down there. But again, I've had some people asking, what do I use? 
this is what I use. I absolutely love it. So definitely check it out. It may be a good fit for you. You can also move it this way and that way. It, it's just fabulous. It's like, oh, get out of my way for a minute, right? But come over to a whatnot show. Great place to source. Great place to buy personal items for yourself or gifts for others. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. You can also get $15 to shop if you use my referral link, which is down below. Um, I also have a seller's referral link. So those links are all down below. I hope to see you guys at a show very soon. Coffee, fun, laughs, and that's my ring light. So definitely check it out. Oh, um, it also has uh, the little feature here that you can mess with your light. All right. So it's a really, really cool, cool piece. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you guys at a future whatnot show. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we are back. Check out those referral links down below, referral and affiliates that I use for my business and the next Bolo. Are you ready? This one is big money. She said, my 14, I'm sorry, he said, my 14 year old son bought this at our neighbor's yard sale over the summer for 10, listed it at $995.95, took an offer of 650 plus shipping. A 14 year old found this guys, a 14 year old. That's awesome. He originally thought it was a library card catalog, but it turned out to be a piece that was marked RMS US Post Office. RMS stands for Rail Management System. So this was used in postal cars on trains. Couldn't really even find a comp for it on WorthPoint and eBay or one for sale for with those markings on it anywhere. WorthPoint, another great tool for resellers. I do have a referral link down below for that as well. Um, it helps you find older listings to help you know how to price your items. If you type in Bolo Buddies, um, worth point. I show you how I use worth point to help me price my items. Um, also what not for beginners into the search bar. And I have those linked down below. He's she, um, I'm sorry. He sells mostly on whatnot these days. Um, he, it says mom and I shipped out over 150 orders over the weekend, but he still sells on eBay, especially stuff like this eBay and whatnot links below. Okay. So, um, that was in, if you want to grab those links, they're over on the Facebook group under the share post. Uh, they did not put what their store name is. So if you want me to shout out your whatnot name, please put the actual name because I can't see it on the link. All right. So come back, share another Bolo and include that information. But so it looks like the mom and the 14 year old son are selling on whatnot. So Hopefully they come back and share another Bolo and you guys can follow those on, follow them on whatnot. If you're watching, share your whatnot store down in the comments and then people can look for it there as well. All right, let's go on to the next one. Awesome find and congratulations. This one, I love this one. <laughs> Original Blockbuster, I, is it Rug Runner? Rug Runner. 43 by 66, rare blue, yellow used. Oh, I thought this was like um an actual VHS. It's actually a rug runner. I thought that <laughs> I'm like, is it road runner? Oh, that's hilarious. So this is a um a rug. That's awesome. She said, My parents got this rug for free from a friend and just had it laying around for years. I mean, it was just laying around. It is a rug. Once I started reselling, I realized that this rug might be worth something. So I asked my dad if I could try to sell it. He immediately rolled it up and put it in my car. It took a few days to clean it. And then I listed it for 350 plus shipping. Took I took the first good offer and sold it for 300 After taxes, they got 285 from me and were thrilled. My eBay store is purses, toys, and more. Oh my goodness, I love this. Um, if you don't know, old uh, Blockbuster VHS can also be a bolo. This one is a vintage, ooh, Lassie Adzer metal studded kimono women's one size cardigan shrug. There you go. This is a big money bolo. Uh, don't know this brand, so definitely be on the lookout. It is vintage. Posted it at 8 or 9 p.m. and sold it by 8 a.m. the next morning. Accepted an offer of $400. Paid $15 for it at a small thrift store that she frequents. She said, vintage is not my specialty, but this was so stunning. I couldn't resist picking it up. I had no expectations of getting more than $100. When it, 
when I purchased it. So 400 was a more than generous offer from this buyer. Wow, wow, wow. So they listed it for 479, took a best offer of 400. Definitely be on the lookout. Anytime you see a vintage tag in clothing, look it up. Vintage Ensco music box, moving ballerina mice. Ballerina mice, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Not the first time. I'm sure it won't be the last time that I find these, <coughs> excuse me, music boxes. It was hidden amongst a table full of charming tales, which I've never found a single one of these that was worth money yet. I have sold some charming tales for decent money, uh, but most of them are bread and butter. But definitely look them up because some of them are a bolo. However, I knew this one would be valuable due to it being a music box. Took me a couple days to sell on offer for 70 and went internationally. The cheapest Carhartt I ever found at Goodwill. Carhartt does some collabs with NFL teams and those hats can go for good money. I bought this at a Goodwill for $2.99. Once the NFL season started, this hat sold fast. The more common colors in the standard Carhartt brown, but the Carhartt black ones usually command a price that will not will net you an additional 25. The more popular the team or the more diehard the fans, the more desirable the hat. As an example of a diehard fan base, the Bears hats still go for 60 to 90, despite the fact they haven't won a playoff since 2011. Okay, there's some great information. I know nothing about sports, but this is a Carhartt sports hat. When I'm shopping at the Goodwill, if I see a new item, I will usually put it in my cart and look it up before I leave. This puzzle was rare. I paid five for it and sold it for 200 plus shipping a few days later. The buyer was very happy. She left positive feedback and sent me a message about how glad she was to receive this puzzle. We were both very happy. I'm a full-time nurse, but reselling is my passion. And this is Kennedy Amenities. And it is a puzzle sold for 200, it looks like. That's fabulous. Five into 200. I'll take that. Limited edition world market Passero soup plate set of seven. Would not want to ship. But um, see, when I get things like this, I have a tendency to part them out. Um, are these glass? If they're not glass, I'd do that. But they might, they, they look like they're glass. $7.99 into $110. I usually have good luck selling world market dishes. Bought at the Goodwill and sold for the listing price. Mercari store name is I'm Spook Shop. And she is Alexandra Elizabeth 998 on eBay. Look at this monster. Look at this monster. Uh, purchased at St. Vincent DePaul thrift store for 20 and sold in less than 24 hours. What? $699 for a plush stuffed animal. Oh my goodness. eBay classy underscore plastic. Classy plastic retro. That is definitely not plastic. Look at this guy. Mega rare Black Friday Tickle Me Wiggly. Team Star Kid Plush Green. $699. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm seeing here where she posted a screenshot. She listed it for $6.99 and took a best offer for $3.50, but that's still fabulous. $350 for that one. That is great. Sold in less than 24 hours. So I'm going to guess she probably could have got more for that. The next item is this vintage white glass pink transfer 14 inch floral shade Victorian hanging oil lamp. Would not want to ship that. I should do a video. Would not want to ship it. Paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Sold for $75. Dollar into $75. Would you ship it? The next item is this white stag knit sweater. Tunic small pumpkins fall autumn 90s vintage leaves. Piece of scrap does a lot of clothing. She finds some cool stuff. Paid $3. <coughs> Excuse me. $3.75. Sold within days of listing on eBay for $58. Ship. Piece of scrap on eBay and YouTube. She is also over on Poshmark. Check her out. She is a bolo finder with some cool finds. I bought this backpack, I believe, from an estate sale. I'm already in the profit. Spent 100 and filled my son's back seat in the top of the roof and front seat. I had it um, for 58 sold for 40 More pictures below and other items I'm sharing also came from the estate sale. eBay store is Jolly's Fashion Emporium. Thank you so much for sharing. And thanks for coming over to my whatnot shows. I appreciate it greatly. Um, 
She sold this for $40. $40. Bucks. Here is another one from her. Oshkosh Bagosh, full-size vintage sheet set. So I'm going to say to you, Oshkosh Bagosh can definitely be a bolo. Look up anything, kids' clothes, um, certain items, look it up. Bought these vintage sheets from an estate sale already in the profit. Spent 100 at the estate sale, sold for $27.74. So not a big money bolo, but a quick, um, easy to find, maybe not easy to find, but sheet sets in general, easy to find. And some sheet sets go for crazy money. So definitely be on the lookout. Here's another uh, handbag. Handbags are something I kind of skip. But uh, Y2K in the title, definitely going to help sell your item. I don't know this brand, Botkier Satchel Sophia Large Handbag, B-O-T-K-I-E-R. Bought this purse at the same estate sale, $100 for everything. So cost of goods, very low. Uh, had it for $49 and took a best offer of $45. Also Jolly's Fashion Emporium. This one here says, here's your sign to start listing your death pile. I call it a money pile. She said, I've had these tiles for years, kept moving them around as I was organizing and decided I needed to just list them. Believe I paid five for all at a yard sale, sold in four days and headed back to Rhodes, Greece, where they were made. It is, um, they're like backsplash tiles, but you could use them for other things. Handmade. I don't know, guys, would you have parted these out or sold them all together? Let me know down in the comments. What a cool find. $5 for all of them. Took a best offer, but I don't know what best offer she took. If you're watching, let us know what you ended up taking for these. They are super cool. I think I would have sold them individually because they're so unique. The next item is not an item. You'll have to watch my next video to see more items sold. But again, come over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Almost 110,000 members with lots of reseller knowledge, lots of helpful people, lots of people that are sometimes not so nice. Just ignore them and report them. All right, guys. Hat made by Seam So Vintage. You guys know I used to wear the other hats. These are my new hats. I'm getting all kinds of colors. I got more coming. Um, I'm buying them now without the buttons so I can put clip on earrings and vintage brooches on them. Love it. Seem so vintage sells these. Um, I think she only has one available in her store right now, but she is having a show with all of her handmade items. So come and check it out. Seems so vintage on whatnot. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.